So scarcity is absolutely central to economics and economic thinking. In fact, the definition of economics is the study of the allocation of goods under conditions of scarcity. You need scarcity to give value to something. For example, diamonds are relatively scarce and are very expensive. Clean water is plentiful, or at least it used to be plentiful, and it has no price, or it's incredibly cheap. And so you have the ridiculous situation that something that is crucial to human survival, namely clean water, is incredibly cheap or has no price, and something which is absolutely unnecessary to human survival, namely diamonds, are very expensive. And if we understand this mechanism whereby scarcity adds value, scarcity creates value, we will be able to change it. Because at the moment, if you make something more exclusive or if you make a limited edition, you can add to the price. That's why individual works of art are sometimes priceless. But what if plentiful things got value? How do we make sure that we can create enough for everybody and that we still have an economics? The challenge is to create, to design, and to live in an economics of abundance, and to take away this fundamental concept in our economic thinking.